Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So you've done a lot of SEO work and let's say your website starts ranking very well, but you don't see a lot of a lot more clicks coming into your website. And that's generally a complaint that I get from a lot of people that try and contact me. And when I look at their sites, in terms of rankings, they're doing pretty well, but they're not receiving as many clicks as they should. And so even though they try to remedy that by buying more backlinks or building more internal content and improving their on page, none of that will ever help you increase the number of clicks that you get on your site. So if you're ranking number one, there's not much you can do with your on page or on your website or with your backlinks to get more clicks. But you can improve your title and your description and you can improve them by a great deal. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go into trying to figure out what pages can do with an improvement in your title and in your description. Now, I also argue that you should improve your H1 as well. Not only because it's good for SEO, but it should also be good and attractive so that people click on it. If you're showing up in SERPs and your CTR or click-through rate is not great, you're not gonna make sales, you're not gonna get leads, you're not gonna do anything. And so in my experience, I have had, I've helped my clients improve the number of clicks they get by being on the number fifth and on, and, on the number, on, and on the number four spot tremendously. I mean, they got even more clicks when they were in number four and five than the guy were got than when they were number one and two. And the reason for that is that I improved their click-through rate. So in this video, we'll go into how to identify what pages need an improvement in your click-through rate. Um, there's a free Google form that I'll provide you with. Just make a copy of it and do exactly as I show you in this video. Then follow my instructions to improve your title and your description, and you can watch as your clicks improve tremendously. Before I go into the video, just want to add, I offer SEO services. If you're looking for someone to do SEO for you or you're looking for someone to consult with, there's a link in the description, fill out the Google Forms and I'll get in touch with you and we can discuss, we can set up a meet and we, you can consult with me. Uh, my goal is to try and help people, especially individual business owners who are trying to improve their SEO and try to grow their business. So the next thing is my website audit service. If you watch your website tank or you see your website is not growing, or if you need just help with your SEO, uh, my website audit will help uh, dig into your website, figure out what's going on with it, uh, make a whole list of problems and how to fix them, and also a strategy at the end of my audit that you can go through and, throw at, and use to improve your SEO. Now this does not mean you'll see an improvement in your SEO overnight, but it certainly puts you on the right track to improve your SEO. And finally is topical authority, which is the number one reason why I offer my topical mapping services because there are a lot of topical mapping services out there, but in the vast majority of cases, they are overly expensive. The, the quality of the one they provide is just very low. They have like a really long Excel sheet of stuff that honestly is of no value. You don't want to write 5,000 articles to be seen as an authority. You just want to write enough articles to be seen as an authority and you want to produce high quality content and not a lot of quantity. And so I do a lot of research and figure out exactly what types of content you should be producing in order to be seen as a topical authority. So now that I have this out of the way, let's jump right into the video and I'll share my screen with you. All right, so this is the CDR booster sheet. There's a link to this sheet in the description. Once you click the link and you open out this sheet, as is mentioned here, you need to make a copy. So you'll go here to file and you'll hit make a copy. Now I already have a copy of this and uh, I'm already running this. So this is how the sheet will look. And these are all the keywords. These are all the stuff that we imported from uh, Google Search Console, and this is what it's been generated. So I'll explain all of this later on, but let's just head over to Google Search Console. Now, the first thing you'd want to do is you'd want to go to over. So once you log into Google Search Console, you know, let's say this is the website that we want to do this for, and we will then click on on the left here is performance. So we'll click here. Then we'll click on where it says three months. We'll click here. We'll go to last seven days. Now, the reason why we want to take a look at this for the last seven days is because we want to look at the latest data 
And if you go too far, it kind of skews the data and you want to see how people are reacting to your pages as of late. And so if the click-through rate wasn't great two months ago, it's now going to be great in the past seven days. Uh, the only exception for this is probably uh, during Christmas. And so if you sell products, you'll probably see it. An increased uh, CTR uh, during Christmas or any other holiday season, uh, depending on which region you're targeting. So that's beside the point. Once you click, once you go to the last seven days, you didn't click on over here. It says new. You click here, and then you click on query. And what we want to do is we want to filter out or remove all branded queries um, because brand branded queries obviously get a higher click through rate by default. And so you want to go here and queries. All right, so you want to click on queries not containing. So this means that all queries that don't have the brand name. So you're putting brand name. In this case, it's doors for security. And so you remove all queries. That, and you can put in a whole list of these. But we'll just do this. And this is a branded query. And then once this is done, as you can see, it removed all the branded queries over here. You'll then go to export, which is over here, and you'll export this as a um, as a Google Sheet. So just click on here at Google Sheets, and this will be exported. So I've already done this. This is the sheet that was exported. And once this is done, you then select all of this over here. So you'll just select all of this, all right? And then you'll hit copy, and you will paste. So only so you. You will select these over here, so just the ones that are in yellow, just the ones below yellow. So you'll just click here and you will paste. Once you paste, these three columns here are, are automatically populated. Um, and so this is mainly the CTR benchmark, and this is whether or not it's above the benchmark or below it. Now, to make this super easy, I marked all of the ones that, you, that needs improvement in red, or I would say pink, perhaps. Um, I'm colorblind, <laughs> quite literally, in some cases. But if you look at this, so all of this over here that's marked in red, uh, you need to improve um, their CTR. So they have below the benchmark CTR. And for organic, the you, know, you always want to have a higher CTR than lower CTR. This also tells you the difference and so if you don't, can't make sense of this much, you can take a look at this. So the difference is that it's 5% lower in this case. So you know, this is 5% lower than what it should be. This is 20% lower than what it should be. This is around 9% lower than what it should be. And so you know that these pages need, these pages associated with these keywords um, need to be boosted. Now, let's say that you know you have the CTR for this specific keyword is low, and now you want to figure out. Okay, so and so now you want to know what page this is associated with. So this is pretty simple. Um, if you just go here and select this over here, you could copy, and you go back to your Google Search Console, and you just remove this over here, and you click on New, and you put Query, and then Query containing, and then you put Paste and apply, this will give you a, all the queries that had those for security in it for in this case. You click on the keyword that you want to see, click here, and then you go on, you click on the pages tab, and these are the pages that are associated with this query. And you can see it's most probably, since it's a branded keyword, it's the home page that doesn't have a great click-through rate. And so you can then Step by step, go through these keywords, find the associated page, and improve um, their click through rate. So, the next thing is how would you improve their um, click through rate? Now, there's a little bit of a hack here that I use to, to do this. All right, so I have a little bit of a hack which I use to improve CTR for pages. And especially for if I'm trying to target a specific search term on the page. And so, for this, I will Let's say it's, it's security door. So I'll go to security door and I click here. I'll go. What I'm trying to find is, you know, what the top ranking uh, pages are doing. So customized steel security door. Okay. Uh, I'm in Dubai. So this is all, these results are from Dubai. This is over here, over here. 
So what I'm seeing here is security door is probably the first term that I should put in there. Uh, and then the next thing I like to do is make an offer in the title. And so in this case, I would probably do something like, uh, I'll just type in a sample here, security door with 100% uh, money back guarantee. Now I know that says UAE over here. So this is, and Google will make a suggestion by the way. So if you type this in to Google search, it will automatically make a suggestion and you can use that suggestion. And so I'd like to do this this way. So it says security door with 100% money back guarantee, UAE. Um, but you can even like, like the other hack that I like to do is, or the other trick that I like to do is to security door, for instance, man, uh, at great prices. Now it says, what Google is saying, security gates, best prices, security front door. I don't want to add any of these because this is fine. So security door at great prices, uh, by now. So this is a, like a call to action that's put in the title. For the description, you can use ChatGPT. Make sure that you ask ChatGPT to generate a description that has security door as the first term as part of the sentence. And that works very well because it kind of grabs user's attention. And it, you can add ChatGPT to make it as clickbait as possible. So let's 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 just try and do that. And starts with the search term uh, security door. And we'll see what ChatGPT generates. Usually it's something good, and then we can work with that. So security door, secrets real, unlock the ultimate. All right, so we want something more salesy. We want something that is more salesy. All right, so let's see. A great home security, safety today, find the perfect security door to guard your loved ones, exclusive deals inside, click here to secure your peace of mind. Now this is a great, in my opinion, clickbaity um, meta description. So you can go ahead and start using this to improve your meta descriptions. And my, during, during my testing, I found that this is a great way to improve your CTR. And without having to do any backlinks, without having to buy any backlinks, do any on page or anything like that, you can just boom, improve it. Uh, so I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. You can also check out my video uh, on LSI keywords. I'll urge you to check that out because if you're looking to optimize your on page, LSI keywords are a great deal. A lot of people talk about it but there's a lot of misunderstanding and there's a lot of misinformation out there. So check out my video on LSI keywords over here. And if you've ever seen the DMCA tech down, you might want to watch my DMCA video over here.